This is a demonstration of uh, using the Terrafin mobile app, getting it started, downloading charts. We'll start by accessing the app here on the iPad. When the, when the app opens up, you're on the stored charts listing. If this is a fresh installation, obviously you won't have any stored charts. To get started, we'll begin with the settings. Uh, in settings you have some options. Vessel track interval is how often the vessel position will be changed. You can select two kilometers, save that. Favorite regions. Uh, we cover over 200 different regions so it can be a little overwhelming to filter through them. With the favorite regions the customer can select the regions that they use a lot save that as a favorite and then you'll see that's in the list down below. Some of the other options are the option to show vessel track it can be either on or off, uh, show waypoints, default is on, and a temperature readout when we're on a uh, water temperature chart can be on or off, default is on. You can store username and password, you can see I already have the uh, review team username stored in here and that will enable you to access the charts without entering the username and password each time. If you save any regions that you really don't want you can delete those and that's all there is to it in the setup. Once we've set it up the next step is to browse the charts. This is where we view the different regions on the Terrafin website, look at the most current charts, decide which ones we want to download. So we can go through all the regions. This is the listing of the charts down below. Uh, it's a little easier then to say show me only my favorites. Those are the ones that we set up in the, in the settings. And we'll look at Enhanced regions here, Newport to La Jolla is the area that we're in. When we see a chart that we want to download, we can preview it. We like that, we'll say select and download. Now we've saved that chart to the iPad device. From there we go to uh, the stored charts list. You can see I have a, a assortment of charts already saved. Here's the one that we just downloaded. Um, we'll, we want to view a chart. We can preview it or just select it to view. When we select one to view, this is, uh, this is where all the chart data is loaded. Uh, we're storing the temperatures for each pixel. Uh, that's where the option that you saw in settings to turn that on or off. With that off, this, this load is much faster. So now that we have a chart on the screen, we have uh, some options here on the right. Uh, set origin allows you to establish a spot as your starting point. We'll say Oceanside. Now we have the origin. And from that point then we can move the cursor around and you'll see in the upper right corner there the, the coordinates, temperature, distance and bearing from the origin. And it's a, a simple process. Now, as you saw, as I'm moving that cursor around, that's what we call the live cursor. We can turn that on or off. When that's off, now this doesn't have any effect. It makes it a little easier to zoom in without moving the cursor around. If we want to get rid of that origin, we can clear the origin. Now at this point, we do use location services. We can show the vessel location on the chart. So I'll say show vessel. And you can see over here to the right, we're not actually on the water. We're in our office here in Vista. So we're a little bit inland, but that's our current location and that will track as we, if we were in the boat and out fishing, that would track as we move across the chart. 
The next option here is mark points. We'll turn that on. And then we use the same technique to mark some likely looking spots. There's a little spot of warm water. We could add a note here. And save it. But we don't need to. We'll mark another point. We don't need a note. Continue. And so now we've marked a few points on the chart. Once we're done marking points, we turn off mark points. And now we're now we're in the, the mode where we can calculate distance and bearing to each of these points. That's a simple process that can either be done by choosing a waypoint in the list here or just tapping on a waypoint here. We've got the info, the coordinates, temperature, the note that we entered. If we want to go to that, we'll click the go to point. And now we have the D distance bearing 26.22 nautical miles, 243 bearing, and that's our, our distance to that point. If we want to get rid of a point, we can just tap it, delete, clears that point from there. So that's the general idea of the, of the uh, app. It's uh, to enable anglers and divers to, to mark likely looking spots on the chart use the vessel location to navigate if they want and carry this out on the water. Now the, the vessel location will only work with a GPS enabled iPad or on the iPhone. Uh, in this case this one, well we're in the office so we're using the Wi-Fi but this would work out on the water. With the Wi-Fi only iPads your vessel location won't work when you're out of Wi-Fi range, but you can still use the set origin. So we can turn the vessel off, set origin, and once we have our origin, things work the same way. We can do a go to to that waypoint and have a distance and bearing based on that. The other, the only really other option that's necessary is the sample charts, and that's just comes preloaded with the app. People can open up a chart and we'll select a Costa Rica chlorophyll chart and just play around with the different settings to see how everything works. It's, it's essentially a, a very simple app but it's, it's pretty powerful for people who are trying to track these locations out on the water. And that's it. I hope that uh, was simple enough, and if there's any questions or anything, feel free to contact our office, and we'll be happy to walk you through it.